By popular request, and I mean super massive popular request, most of it coming across as, um, you missed a durian and we're still waiting for it. Uh, I'm not trying to knock anyone on that, I'm, I'm making fun of myself for taking so long to get to it. Um, gun. Now, I've seen some reactions, uh, I mean, I haven't watched them, but I have seen some uh, thumbnails of other reactors doing Gunman by Durian in his mask. I'm going to be doing his unmasked Gunman featuring I'm gonna say this name wrong, and I'm sorry ahead of time. Nuang Chakawan? I'm sure I said that wrong. Um, but it's the piano version with him without his mask on. It's Tom. Um, but before I get into that, um, as I said in my last video, I need to give sort of an apology for my delay in uploading. Um, I got a new job, uh, you know, out in the real world that um, requires me Monday through Friday, 5 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. to be working. making Transformers. Uh, no, I don't work for Hasbro. I don't make Transformer. Optimus Prime. No, I don't do that. I make the Transformers, the power stations and power companies then buy to make their substations so that they can power your entire grid so that you can sit at home and watch me on your PC, or you can charge your mobile device and watch me on it. Ah! No, um, it's, it's really intense, yeah, no, um, take a giant, um, like, at least twice the size of my studio, giant sheets of steel, um, mild steel, stainless steel, sometimes aluminum, whatever, um, ranging from about that thick to that thick, and um, take it by crane and set it down on a giant water table, and then I sit in front of a computer and I program and do it, this whole pattern to maximize how many pieces I can cut out of it, of all the different parts and components used to make the transformers, their casings, all the connectors and everything. And then I uh, program a plasma torch to automatically go around and <laughs> cut out all the pieces. Um, and then in the middle of sparks flying and molten metal flying around and getting burns on myself and cinders in my hair and stuff. I uh, reach in when a piece is finished and yank it out and take it over and then while it's cutting the next piece I grind out all the edges with a high speed grinder and send it along so that it can get welded and sandblasted and created into this big giant box with all this stuff on it that will then get filled with all the conductive material and give you power. I'm the guy. Uh, anyways, because of that, my new job and the family situation, hours, um, daycare, my son, limited time I get to actually spend with my wife, 
it's really only going to be like Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays that I have any time to film and upload. And like as it stands, I'm like four videos behind already filmed and waiting to be uploaded. Like right now, I am uploading Hurt. Pony Mask. So, you know, if you think back to when it was you saw that, that was when I filmed this. It, it's just a timing thing. So I won't apologize. But anyways, on to why you're here. Dirty. Wonderful piano company. Not gonna slaughter his name again. <laughs> Here we go. Gun. Play! And yes, I have subtitles on what I'm watching. I'm not familiar with the song, so. So tired, don't go on by Koi Long Bang. I saw Hay Long Buka, then Tadam Dam Sata Salai. Quam Pentai Rai Ripin Cha Jacrum Ting Ning Na Near Kai Pun. ไปความความคำจงที่ฉันนี้น่ะปากกัดตีนที่ปืนมาตีรังฟันเธอกันกล้าหนุ่มกระทงไม่เคยลีนี้ใจผู้ใดแรงมาเราก็แรงไปจนทบกับนายผู้มากหลายด้วยบารมีเงินยิ่งใหญ่ขับเมืองทุกคนต้องกองหูเมื่อกุมตัง very dark reflection of reality. Like a serious social statement. There are many layers.
like I'm on a time travel. I'll explain at the end. things I have to say. Um, I'm going to start with, that is so unlike anything I have heard Tom or Dury perform. The closest thing to that that I've ever heard Tom perform was, um, and I don't remember the name of it, uh, it was a music video of his that I watched on my own time, um, not on camera. Um, and it was a, a story about uh, two friends, uh, a girl and a boy, a man and a woman, I should say, and the woman loved the man, but the man didn't get it, and saw her as like his best friend. She was, you know, friend zoned, as they say. Um, and it was her struggle through the whole thing of trying to still be his friend but deal with her silent tragedy. And like that's the closest thing I can say I've ever seen Tom do to something like this. Because um, rather than being pop or being an homage or this or that, you know, it was real. It was relevant. It was something that's just like, bam, you know what we're talking about. And this this is something that is just, it's multi-faceted. It is layers. This song, I mean, I've never heard it before. And I might be reading more into it than there is because I'm sure my subtitle translation wasn't proper because um, it did that whole automated translation thing because it didn't have English subtitles available. So it did an automated translation. And so it was uh, broken up contextually. I had to piece it together using my own logic. But in any event, in any event, that song was deep. And what I got out of it was the struggle is real. In life, we are presented with options, choices, and situations. And sometimes we make the choice of what we think is best rather than what is right. And it can be very confusing 
between the two. Like, it's not a fine line. It's not an established line. It's a very fuzzy gray area. Because sometimes we think we're making the right choice when the reality is, is we're making the choice that seems like it's going to do the most good rather than just make the choice of yeah this is going to suck but it's what I got to do you know um, we're all we're all we are all guilty of wanting to cut corners of wanting to find an easy way out of wanting to take the easy path you know the the quick happy and I mean I, like I said I might not really be getting it right because I, I had to go on this translation but the, 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 the statements on mistimed pride, thinking, you know, that today is the day that you can be proud of when the reality is, is it's screwed up. And you ended up being the reason for creating more suffering because you're suffering. Uh, like I said, I might not be getting the translation right, but what I got hit me deep. Um, but then I also mentioned something about a time travel. And it almost felt like almost felt like, I don't know how familiar any of you are with the concept or genre of movies that's called westerns, you know, cowboys, um, but old time western sort of style movies dealt with occasionally people who were good people. Who were trying very hard, but ended up getting wrangled into playing part in or committing themselves a heist or a crime or something, taking hostages, having things escalate to a point out of control, far beyond what you meant. You know, because you're trying to work for a greater good, and it all fell apart. And I mean, it totally, it totally works in even today's world, especially in today's world where we're in a global economy. Everyone's economy suffers because another country's economy is suffering, and they're supposed to be eh, supporting the world. I hate you, America. I like America, it's, it's, it's not that bad, but um, it's getting worse. Uh, anyways, <sighs> the struggle is real, and every single person who, no, every single person can relate to this. The fact that We, except for the broken people, except for the inherently bad people, or the people who really aren't able to tell the difference, everybody strives to feel good about themselves, to feel proud of themselves, and inherently would like to have other people like them and be proud of them. And... A 
life has a funny way of not working out and despite the best laid plans things start to fall apart and sometimes the panic sets in and sometimes you have to like make a choice do I suffer until I'm able to pick myself up or hey you know what I could do I could do this and then it'll be good right I don't know like I said that's what I got out of this but it was so deep and psychological and relevant to me. I really hope someone will tell me in the comments below whether I'm on the mark or whether I'm way off. Please, please, please let me know. Because like I said, I believe that translation was slightly broken, but I really think I got the picture. And like I said, it was, it was almost enough. Almost enough. Almost. And make me want to say, sorry, Crow. I'm Team Dirty. I'm still Team Crow. But it was almost enough. It was beautiful. It was amazing. And it just, it took me on a journey of psychological, emotional, Journey. I felt the pain that he was saying about the turmoil. You know? <sighs> Thank you all for continually reminding me. Hey, hey, hey. This one, this one right here, watch this. Because y'all were right. You were right. Thank you. That was amazing. Um, Thank you for suggesting it, for reminding me. Thank you, thank you for watching. And please, 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 let me know below. Was I right? Am I close? Was I way wrong? Please. And thank you. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. You have a lot more.